Hello friends, my name is Hamid. Today I'm working on this Fisher & Pekel gas oven. The center burner is not sparking, it's not working. It's this one. Other burners are working, this is not working. We're gonna find out what's causing this issue. Pull the unit out or lady uh, on my sheet to seal the flooring. At the back, I'm going to show you here as the gas line and electrical wire. I also have my anti tip bracket there over there. When you pull the unit out, you can pull it out a couple inches from there. And then after that, let me see my camera. From there, uh, once you pull out the unit about three inches out, then you can lift it up from the front and put it on top of the sheet. So I'm gonna uh, open this apart and see. I already took the screws out. There's two screws on this side, two screws on that side. I pulled them out and I'm gonna pull out the whole unit. You can also unplug this. And if you don't want to unplug it, you can turn it off from the breaker. I have got this, uh, or you can also use towels uh, to put everything on top. <clears throat> and the way I'm taking all of these burners out, I put the center one on the center and the two left ones on the left and then the two right ones on the right <coughs> i got three 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 nine screws for large burners uh, two small uh, phillips screws on the small uh, rear uh, burners i'm gonna take those off and we'll go from there i always recommend going with phillips uh, a screwdriver before you use your impact drill or before you use your drill uh, on on all the units you can break these uh, screws that holds the top panel in place easily I do not recommend using a drill if you don't know how tight the screws are so I will use this screw here it's coming off smoothly so I can use my drill I confirmed it that it's not seized and I'm hoping that they're all in good shape For the a small element uh, for back burners, I'm using the Phillips number one. It's the smaller one. You wanna use the smaller one. You cannot use the large one, otherwise you're gonna strip it. It's off now? Yeah. No, it's still on. Uh, for a small, the screws are off. And look at the difference between this small one and this large one that's why you want to use the number two here fellas number two fellas number one for the back ones two screws that they're holding the the spinal in place from the bottom uh, you have to kind of lean down and work on from the bottom to top you want to lift it up a little bit I will show you something here. When you lift the side up, you see that the screw in here, you wanna lift it up so high that you will get away from that screw and then push it to the back. See how easy it came off? And here how it looks from here. So it's catching in here. You can only release it from here if you take the panel off from this screw. So you will lift it up from top of this and then slide it back from here. Uh, I'll show you the bottom of the panel. See that area? Goes over here. And the same thing from other side.
Yeah, thank yeah. you. Did you mark it down? Yeah. Mark it down. Okay. Let's see. Um, we are going to focus on this. The switch is here. Uh, we are checking for 120 watts coming here. I have the AC selected. So we are getting 120 volts on this switch. But when I turn the switch, when I turn the switch, uh, the wires that goes from the bottom of the switch uh, from here, it sends signal straight to the uh, spark module. Now I'm checking my spark module here. Can you Anil, can you hold this please? <coughs> hold it like this, yeah. So this is my spark module here. Let me. When I turn the switch, if you hold it up a little bit, hold it up like this, yeah, that's perfect. When I turn this center like that, over here, I, sh I should receive 120 volts. So I can disconnect this. These are the two wires that I'm getting 120 volts from the front. So when I turn it, this, I'll turn this. You can see 120, 120. So I'm getting 120 volts uh, AC here, but it's, a, it's still not a sparking there. That means I may have a bad uh, igniter or I may have a bad, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a spark module. So I'm gonna check for loose connection here. Uh, it's not very common for the uh, igniters to go bad, but very common problems are these ones, the spark modules. I'm gonna check for loose connections at the bottom. Looks okay. My wire is also coming here. It seems okay. So it's not a sparking. I'm gonna have to replace this. So I have this part. Disconnect this, the igniter wire. I will be using the Phillips number one again here on the spark module. The ground, um, you can lose loosen it a little bit. And then the back one, you wanna pull it out all the way. This is screws off. This is the bad part. I'll leave it here. This is the new part. And I'm gonna reinstall this exact same. Your ground is very important. You wanna add your ground first. We it. If you're not sure what goes where, always take pictures. And now I can hold one of my screwdrivers here. And let me turn off the light. So I'm gonna turn it on and see. Turn 
hold on. So it's working now. Okay. We can put everything back together. And when reinstalling back in these uh, burners, uh, the top panel, there's black gasket around all of these. You want to make sure you don't lose it. If you lose it, then the burner is not going to work properly. So uh, the center one seems to come off, but I managed to reinstall it back in. It wasn't a big job, but we will put everything back together now. Just to show you how it looks from the bottom, the screw that I was trying to pull out, hopefully you can see it. Can you retie that screw please? That one. Why the screw was kind of stripping because he was not using the right uh, uh, Phillips. He was using number two instead of number four. So good job, Anil. <laughs> and once the top panel is in place, you wiggle it back and forth. Make sure it's tight. Check all your burners. Uh, to make sure they are sitting properly here. They're a little bit tricky. Look at it before you install it back in. It has a hole. It goes on top here. And if you look at the burner here, you see this large size and small uh, side here. This, just pay attention on the large uh, opening here on the large uh, side and on a small. This is the one for the center, center burner. And you see this opening right here, just like that. This one, the top burner, center burner, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. 
says that I'm first. Please. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. If you know what you're doing, this is a small job. It's not going to take you a long time. It takes. It would take you maximum half an hour, not more than that. So peace.